Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. I hope that you are doing well, and I hope that this live stream finds you in good spirits. How are you guys doing since the holidays? <laughs> was it crazy for you like it was crazy for me? Okay, let me just get up set up here. Hi, Anna. Good to see you guys. Okay, well, hopefully I'll be able to see comments. Yeah, that should be okay. If I have trouble, I'll just open up a new tab. Okay, so today we're just doing something fun, uh, just something casual and fun. I actually was contacted by one of our members who is now in the mentorship program, and he started a subscription box business last year and he asked me if I would be interested in receiving one of the prototype boxes and just, you know, seeing what's in it and feedback and things like that. Well, I ended up getting that and I'm going to unpin this comment for now because it's, it's interfering with me. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Joshua. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you. You guys can hear and see me. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, that'll work too. Facebook is always changing things. Okay, anyways, back on track. So I received this box two weeks ago, I want to say, and it has taken me, it's taken so much restraint to not open this box. This box has been sitting on my table for two weeks. And when I first got it, the first thing I wanted to do was open it up. So it has just taken an enormous amount of self-restraint and self-control to not dig into this box before today when we had the um, unboxing scheduled. So I want to read you a little bit and tell you just a little bit about the company first. And I think it's really important that we support our members here. And so this is Mario's baby. This is Mario's business. Many of you know Mario. He's uh, a member in our group. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Marlene. Good to see you. Hi, Sashin. Good to see you. And I hope that you guys will stay because I have three secret questions that you're going to need to answer. And if you do, I'm going to do a drawing for next week where you guys can actually win a box. And that's super, super exciting. Hold on just a second, I'm making myself some notes. <laughs> Self-discipline is a thing, Victoria. <laughs> it is. Okay, so let me pull this up a little bit. I want to just tell you just br very briefly a little bit about the company first before we start digging into the surprises, because I don't even know what's in here. So it's going to be a surprise for me, too. Okay, so this is what my box looks like. This is from Tarot and T. You are the seer. And it's, you can see it's got two little hands clasped, and it's got what looks like a lotus or maybe energy kind of coming out of the hands. And it, I mean, it's a pretty big box. It's pretty heavy. When I got it, I have gotten many subscription boxes in the past, but I've never had one that was that big. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's got to be a lot of awesome things in there. I know. <laughs> oh, Jennifer, you have seen Mario's boxes. Oh, okay, good, good. So the tagline for the company is a subscription box that has journeyed through millennia from temples to palaces to find its way to you. And I thought that that was really special. Um, my Saturn is in Sagittarius. I have a lot of Sagittarian energy in my chart. Those of you who are astrology nerds probably know that Sagittarius is about cultural diversity. It's, it's about learning about other cultures, sharing other cultures. There's just this idea behind Sagittarian energy that it's, it's all about, you know, finding the truth in all of these different cultures and religions and spiritual practices and finding what the real truth is. But also, you know, it's a very open-minded kind of energy as well. So that's a really big part. I, that's a really big part of me, who I am as a person, but it's a really big part of my brand too. I'm very outspoken 
about diversity, I could probably be a little bit more outspoken, but um, we're, that's going to be handled in 2019. We have some really awesome panels coming up <clears throat> for uh, how we can be more inclusive with diversity in our spiritual communities and things like that. So diversity is huge for me. And so, you know, it's talking about temples and palaces and it's, it's, it gives off this energy that it has traveled around the world or it's like the best kept secrets from all of these different cultures and spiritual places that have made its way to me. And at the core, Tarot and T believes that everybody has the ability to see their own answers without any special talents or knowledge. They believe that T is a compass, a healer, and a diviner providing answers to those who seek them through the way of T, which is really an interesting concept. I have always loved T. I have some um, T right now. It's got some ginger. Um, it's also got some cinnamon and vanilla, I think I've gotten there. So I've always loved tea. And I just recently, uh, last year, kind of got into tea leaf reading and things like that. So I love this whole concept of tea being its own kind of inspirational spiritual practice. They also believe that tarot can access your hidden knowledge and reveal vital secrets to help you act which is really great because I, I noticed that when I do tea breaks for myself, it's mostly when I need a moment before I react to something. It's almost kind of like that five minute quiet meditation ritual that, you know, I don't really do a lot of rituals, but tea is definitely one of those where you're kind of clearing your mind. You're waiting for the tea to steep before you enjoy it. And there's just this really awesome process that that, you know, two minutes, of silence, hopefully, that you, <laughs> if you can get that, if you don't have kids or a noisy environment. But, you know, the morning coffee or the tea, we kind of associate as like this quiet five-minute moment, five-minute break in life that we get, right? They also believe that ritual is scientifically proven to change people's minds, core, and DNA when used consistently over time. And I absolutely believe that. I absolutely do. Ritual, it turns into habit. Habit turns into lifestyle. So I absolutely believe that too. And as I said, Tarot and Tea is owned and operated by Mario Zelani um, and his husband, Ken. Mario created this subscription service after publishing his book, Ritual Tea. So if, you're, uh, if you are interested in getting that book or buying that book from him, get in contact with him. And he realized that he had different priorities. So Mario has gone through surgeries, many surgeries, um, lots of personal transformation, but he's, he also has autoimmune diseases. He's had 15 surgeries. He's gone through like total weight loss transformation. He has challenged and disabled children. He's also experienced destructive lifestyle choices, you know, triggered by anxiety and stretch with stress, which, you know, we can all kind of relate to that. I know I can. And so, you know, it's so important when we buy consciously and where we choose to spend our money, because this is not a box that's just put together with the intention of selling, selling them out. Selling them out is always a good thing, you know, but it's not like, it's not like these boxes are put together with one thing on their mind to sell out. These boxes are put together and curated by someone who knows the value of that, of having a, you know, some sort of tea ritual or some sort of sacred ritual where you have that time to reflect. And I think it's magical. And I think that as, you know, conscious entrepreneurs and conscious spenders, I think that you can feel Especially if you're an empath, you can feel the energy of, of you know, things that we buy. And what the very first thing, I know I'm weird, and everybody's going to think I'm really, really weird <laughs> when I say this. But it's one of my, you know, it's clairsentience. It's, or not clairsentience, clairgustience, is it? Or clair, clair smelling, clair olfactory, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Clair, clair smelling. So... <laughs> I can pick up a lot about people through scents. Um, I can smell when people are sick. I can smell when people are stressed out. 
I can smell when people are happy. I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but it's just something that is just, I've learned about myself. And so one of the things that I do whenever I get any sort of magical meal, whatever I buy, whether it's incense or statues or tarot decks or books, or, you know, I try to buy from pagan or Wiccan or magical or spiritual places. <laughs> Josh says he's a Sagittarius and you guys rule. Sashin says the seeker of meaning and purpose and boldly going forward to places you have not been before is the hallmark of Sagittarius energy. Absolutely. You put that way more eloquently than I did. You are the astrology expert, so I am not surprised. Victoria says it reminds me of Japanese tea ceremonies and their beauty. Yeah, absolutely. Claire Aliens, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Marlene says, I love that gigantic box. I can't wait to see what you got in there. I know. <laughs> Sounds delicious. I love a company backed by conscious message. Me too. I really do too. And so when I first got, when I get anything, my first reaction, who does this? Leave me a heart or comment. Do you guys smell your packages? I smell my packages because I can pick up a lot of psychic information, right? And also it just smells really good, especially if you get it from like a new age place and it smells like you're in a new age shop. Well, let me just tell you, I, <laughs> you smell like sugar due to diabetes. I can relate. <laughs> I, I can relate. I have type two. I can relate to that. Um, and so when I got this box out of the big box that it came in, my house literally smelled like a apothecary. It smelled like a tea shop. And the energy that that smell bring in was so magical. I remember my husband got home and he's like, are you cooking? Are you making, he's like, are you making potions or, you know, cause I make a lot of my own oils and essential oils and things like that. And he was like, what are you doing? Are you like making anything? And I said, no, I said, go check out that box on the table and go smell it. He's like, oh my gosh, that smells amazing. So that was my first experience with receiving my box is that I was just like sticking it up to my face because it just smells so freaking good. Lynn says, I have a friend who smelled her mail for years. She would love that. <laughs> I'm weird. What can I say? <laughs> I'm weird. Okay, so I have just a little bit more to tell you before we get in because I know everybody wants to get in. And while I'm pulling up this information, here is your first question. In order to be uh, eligible to win the box, I'm gonna announce the winner next Friday, but there's three secret questions that you need to answer, okay? So I don't want you to put this into the chat box right now. I just want you to put it on a piece of paper or write it in your notepad. And at the very end, I'm going to make a post in the group and I want you to put your answers there, okay? Because it's gonna to be too much trying to go through however many comments are gonna be on this live stream, right? So save your answers. Be sure to post them when I call for that post you have until next Friday. The next Friday is the 11th, okay? So the first question is, what is your favorite kind of tea? What is your favorite kind of tea? Okay, so don't answer right now. Just hold on to that answer. Wait until I post the post in the group and then Answer all, all three questions on there. My kids smell their clothes for years. You're not weird. <laughs> okay, guys, a couple more things that I want to talk about really quickly before we dive in. So there's going to be three different size boxes. Um, Mario said that he's going to be bringing in, and these boxes are quarterly, by the way, okay? So they are every three months, every quarter. There's four boxes per year. And once you see, once I start talking about like what's in these boxes, then you're going to understand why it's only once every three months. However, Mario said that he is going to be bringing in a monthly subscription that's just going to be like a, a littler box, but it's going to be on a monthly basis. Okay. So it's going to be a great way to kind of sample different products while you're kind of waiting on your big box to get to your house. All right. So they have, uh, Mario has a sampler ritual box. It has a four card forecast reading, four large tea samples and a seasonal gift. They have a 
$36.99 forecast ritual box. The first box is only $9.99. The sampler box is only $9.99. And then the second box, the mid-tier box is $36.99, which is really comparable. Um, a lot of boxes that I have bought in the past are anywhere between $40 and $80. Kind of depends on, on what you, you know, you get inside of it. Like if you get one with crystals, it's obviously going to bump the price up because crystals are very valuable and very expensive. But their, his mid-grade box is really on like the cheap end in regards to like all the other prices I see. So I don't know how long he's going to be able to keep it at that price. So I would say if you are interested grab it now because chances are, you know, things change, prices could be going up. And then the forecast ritual tea box, you get four large tea samples. You get an angel tea towel designed actually by Mario. Um, so you get art too, which is really great. And I love the fact that people are putting their art into the boxes and not just stuff they buy. You know what I mean? I think that really ups the quality and really ups the value. You also got an uh, angel candle holder. You get a diffuser, you get some crystals, and you get some edible goodies. And also you get a reading as well. And then the big, the big box, which I believe is what I have, is uh, the $79.99 Ritual Fortune Box. So it's called the Fortune Box. And you get six large tea samples, you get the towel, you get um, some other, I don't want to ruin it for everybody, so I'm not going to tell you everything you get in here, but you also get some edible goodies. It looks like you also get some altar tools um, and also some really rare, like kind of tea products and tea accessories. Okay, so I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin the surprise, so I won't list everything. And you also get the full reading, which is uh, a four card reading about um, the, each quarter in 2019. So I, I like that you get the readings and then you also get, you know, the tea and the tea accessories. So that way you could literally open up your reading, read it while you're drinking your tea. And it just, it's just this like immersive experience. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, there's also a uh, magazine that you get too. It's called the Online Ritual Tea Magazine. Um, and it, he's going to be including like journals, workbooks, the history of tea, tea from around the world. So, you know, it's kind of like an informational kind of magazine that's going to have information in it, but it's also going to have like workbooks and journal prompts and mindfulness activities and things like that. And I do want to let you guys know that if you do purchase the forecast or the fortune box, which is the, the mid grade box or the big box. If you mention my name, if you contact Mario and mention my name that you saw this live stream, he'll actually give you 20% off, which is big. I mean, that's shipping right there. You know what I mean? But you have to use this code. And so let me uh, put this in here real quick so you guys can write this down. Hi, Heidi. Sampler is $12.99 due to postage. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, where is it at? There we go. <laughs> Packages are going to be weird simply because of the holiday season. So I have things that I bought before Christmas that haven't even arrived yet. So, you know, shipping is kind of weird right now. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. How often do we get the big box? It's quarterly, Marlene. And Mario, feel free to chime in at any time. Okay, so are we ready to open? Okay. Let me see if I can do it like this. Okay. So very first thing is the packaging that's on the top okay so it's packaged really well so it has a thank you card and it says tea ritual is not an escape from but an escape to and the difference is important when you took human form you are not choosing to live in a prison even one of spirits design rather you are choosing for a time to breathe the air of conflict 
and to taste the bitter herbs of higher learning. The tea ritual is an escape back to spirit's own bosom, where the soul retreats not for pity, but for rest. And that's gorgeous. And it, um, it says happy holidays. And it also says, leave us a review and let us know how you enjoyed your box. And you could be entered to win um, a gift card for providing your feedback. And that's, he does a lot of giveaways too. So you want to make sure that you go on their page and you follow him, the, their Facebook business page and things like that, because he does a lot of giveaways. They do a lot of stuff like that. You are welcome. You're welcome. I love this green paper. <laughs> I love bright colors. Okay, so it actually comes with a guide, and there is, like, sparkle glitter everywhere now. <laughs> That's what I need. I need more glitter. How did they know? How did they know that I needed more glitter? So it comes with an informational booklet, Connecting with the Angels. And by the way, this is tea and angelic themed. And it just goes over, you know, some quotes and things like that. And it has a coupon in here for 20% off of my next box. Um, it also has like uh, water ritual instructions. It talks about how to basically, it's, it's very thorough. It talks about, you know, what's in your box. It talks about like, um, it has different types of rituals that you can do. It talks about the different items that are in the box. It has like, you know, like pictures of what's in here plus a little description, so you kind of get to, you know, if you have questions. I tried to highlight not to bomb with glitter. <laughs> That's okay. I actually don't mind glitter bombs. And then it has a 2019 forecast, and um, it has their contact information, who they are, their mission statement, and things like that. So there's a, there's a lot of information about the box in the pamphlet that comes with it. That's an awesome – I know <laughs> – it is, it's pretty awesome so far. Okay, so what I was told is that, um, see, I got my cards with my reading. However, um, Mario, correct me if I'm wrong, you're not going to be sending the cards anymore simply because you didn't get good feedback on that. But I don't know, maybe, what do you, what do you guys think, okay? As someone who may or may not purchase this box, or as someone who's watching this and has an opinion, would you actually like to have your cards, you know, in your box and to have that with you? Or would you rather have that digitalized? Ooh, okay. So my card that I got is Maitreya, Wisdom of the Ages. And I got it. Oh, I got a, a tea fortune. I'm probably doing this out of order, but that's okay. I'll go back and do this all on my own later when I make my own tea. An important person will offer you support. Okay, very good. Why are you so enchanted by this world when a mine of gold lies within you? So these are like roomy quotes. Physical, having the cards. I would love to have get a reading with my gift box. Yeah. Cards aren't the readings. There are cards for the quarter of the months. Oracle definitions are in the magazines. Oh, okay. So these are just a bonus. <clears throat> so my cards that I got are, ooh, I got some really good ones. Temperance, the fool, the wheel, the devil, the world, and the star. So I got some really pretty cards to have, and I can even, what I'm thinking what, I'll, what I would probably do with these personally is I would probably put them on my vision board. Yep, I would probably put them on my vision board. That's beautiful. And then it has a your tarot reading.
Okay, so it has, um, oh, these, this is really, really nice, Mario, because it actually has like a prompt that you can kind of think about. For example, the reading, the first card of the reading is the four of wands. What area of my life can the angels help me with most at this time? And then it kind of goes over the card meeting. And then it kind of talks about like where you can kind of apply this to your life. So this is the actual reading that comes that it comes with. And then the cards are um, an additional bonus part of that. And do I have that correct, Mario? So this is the actual reading. And then the cards are an addition to that. Oh, okay. And then it asks, at the end, it actually has some like different types of books and it has some different types of decks that you might be interested in. It has some different readings that Mario does. And by the way, Mario does readings too. So it's not just he doesn't just do the boxes, but he does readings as well. Yes. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that. Oh, look at these little snowflakes. <laughs> Those are so cute. And of course it has, you know, terms of condition, terms and conditions, ethics, things like that. Box change notice. Okay. So this, this just, this isn't really relevant to you guys because you guys will be getting the new boxes. Ooh. Yasmin Westward Art, Zodiac Women, 2019. They go with the monthly forecast in the magazine. I got you. Okay, I got you now. And this looks like, yes, this is a calendar. Awesome. Okay, so it has a whole bunch of different women that kind of look like goddesses. And then you can see it has the months at the bottom, or the month in the bottom, and then the days. That's really, really pretty. I really like decorative calendars. Oh, and then they are also, oh, okay. They're, they also have, I don't know if you guys can see it on this one but it actually says Capricorn on there. Let me find one that's, that you can see a lot easier. Here, you might be able to see Pisces a lot easier. So it has the astrology with it as well. We highlight indie decks and artists. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense actually. Yasmin Westwood, I'm going to have to check her out. That's a good way to like, you know, kind of get in touch with um, different artists. Now I have to figure out exactly where I want to put this. I think I have a spot. I think I'm going to put it up on my wall right here, right above my desk right there. So the first thing we pull out is the readings, and then we also have a calendar in there. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, I think I know what this is. This looks like a towel of some sort. I think this is the tea towel. Or, or you could use it as an altar cloth. Same, same thing, really. Oh my gosh, look, you guys. <laughs> There's so much in here still yet to go, so. Okay, let's see what's in here. Now I'm just gonna throw trash on the floor because I'm an adult and I can make those decisions. Oh, wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. Abundance. Thankful. Okay, so I was trying to figure out what the words are. It says abundance and thankful, and it has a B in the center. And then you can see it has the tarot and T down in the, what would it be to you guys? The left-hand corner or the right-hand corner? Look down in the lower corners. And it says, without growth, there is no work. Without investment, there is no growth. Without work, there is no investment. Without investment, there is no growth. That is a very true statement. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> Mario says the cookies got destroyed, so, so I got an extra tea towel. <laughs> 
That's okay. Oh, look at the packaging, you guys. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Very nice. Okay, so this bag is named after the Seven of Swords. And it says, it's okay to hatch a sneaky plan to grab your stuff and escape into this full-bodied black tea that is perfectly balanced with freshly ground cinnamon bits and notes of fall-ripened fig. You know I have to smell it. Come on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's pungent. It's got a little bit of a bitter smell, but it's it has a very green smell. It smells really good. The next one is named after the magician. And it's got the four of wands as a sticker on the front. And it says, take advantage of the magician's appearance within this botan botanical potion that bears his name and glean all you can from him. He uses aromatics and the spicy flavor of juniper to awaken your senses, purify your aura, and clarify your thoughts. So if you are a tarot nerd also, like I am, this is definitely a box for you. I mean, tarot and tea, right? It's definitely a box that like, it gives you sort of like this immersive experience with the cards themselves. And it says that this is supposed to be a, a tea for it to awaken your third eye. And it's also got cucumber and it's also got some white tea. So this is a little bit of a different blend. This one seems to me um, almost kind of like a cooling blend. We'll see. Because of the cucumber, I naturally associate with cooling. Okay, are you guys ready for the second question? The second question is, well, if I can get this box, well, I can't get this one open, so I'll have to use scissors to get that one open later. The second question is, why, why would you guys feel like you would want to win this box? Like, thinking about what this box represents and thinking about what tea represents this tea time ritual this escape to and not escape from what would that actually provide for you in your life okay so what do you feel would be the benefit of having this box and what would it allow you to accomplish in your life or what kind of reprieve would it give you this one is the seven of cups tea Seven of Cups tea is for creating opportunities. Um, part of the lichen family, lichen, lichen, but classified as a type of grass, it blooms in the den of winter. So, okay, this is, that's really cool. I really like that idea because it's a tea for when you, like, for example, if you needed to drum up some business really quickly or you needed, a, like, a miracle to kind of happen and you didn't know that there was going to be any type of, uh, you know, thing or situation that was going to happen for you, and it seems like all hope is gone, this is what this tea is specifically for. Now, I will say, Mario, the only critique that I really have so far is that, darn, these, these packages are hard to open. I can't get the second one open, but I can smell it through the bag, so we're just going to do that. Mm-hmm. That smells really, really good. And it's got it's got a spicy kind of smell. It's it says honey, ginger, and uh you can pair it nicely with honey, ginger, and a touch of lemon. But it's got like it's got uh antiviral and antibiotic properties. And I was trying to find where it says give me one second here. Oh, this is what I was looking for. It boosts immunity, prevents sore throat, stops cough, helps with digestion, and um, like I said, it has that antiviral and antibiotic properties. Yes, the first question was, what is your favorite kind of tea? And hold off on answering questions because I'm going to post a different post for all of that. 
Mario says, yes, we faced a lot of challenges with this particular box, so I can definitely say that the angels have delivered it to you. One of them is that we had ordering new packaging. We faced issues with that. I am the, I am one of them is opening up the packages by the time we found out it was too late. Yeah, and that's like, that's not even really a critique. That's just a packaging thing that just needs to be fixed. That's not even really like something that's, I mean, it's not really wrong per se, because I can just use scissors to open it. That wouldn't bother me personally, but yeah, but you're already on top of it, so. Okay, so for the sake of time, I'm not going to go over these last two, but just know that there are two more um, tea samples in the big box. Oh, and I found another tarot card in there. The Ten of Pentacles, which is also a great card to get. Okay. So you also get these, which are little, um, are these mesh bags for to put the tea in, to steep? Um, I think they're tea bags, right? Oh, and then you get a, a little white candle. So as you're, you know, having your tea, you can light your candle, set your intention. That's part of the um, ritual part of it. Okay, here's, I got, I got a bonus tea towel, but there's only one tea towel that's actually in it. I got the bonus because I didn't get the cookies. So I got a bonus tea towel, and I got a blue one. Oh, this is the this is the angel one, right? Yeah. It's blue and it has um, angel wings on it, and it says connect, celebrate, believe, and honor. Not gorgeous. And I love the snowflake in the middle. I love things that are on theme because it just makes it that much more potent in my opinion. So I love this. And these are good quality guys. These are like dish towel quality where you guys could put these in the, you know, washer and I would, well, I would maybe dry it on delicate just because you don't want the ink to fade. Um, and I would probably wash it on cold and I would probably wash it on delicate on cold. And I would dry it on delicate as well and probably warm and not hot. But that's gorgeous. <clears throat> hey, Adrian, good to see you. Okay. Mario says, candle goes with some other items. It says, queen of coins, sampler. I, I just love how you've written all of this. Give me a minute so I can kind of absorb the information. Okay, so this is a caffeine. Okay, so are these the tea samples then? Okay, so these are, these are the full-size teas. These are the full-size teas and these are the samplers. Is that correct? Or what is in here? It's coin press tea. Because I can feel that there's something in here that looks different. It's coin press tea. That is going to be a really unique experience for me because I have never experienced anything like that before. So I am dying. I don't want to open it because I don't want it to have to, I don't want to go get a baggie and seal it. I want to keep it in the bag for right now. But that's going to be a really cool experience. Uh, oh, here's one with a clear. Oh, here's, oh, look at this, guys. This is a blooming tea flower. This is a blooming tea flower, I think, right? This is jasmine. Yeah, a coin press tea. Mario says that there's there's a magazine. There's a digital magazine that kind of goes over all of these things. It's actually two to three servings. Ah, oh, interesting. I have been wanting to try these for so long. These flowering teas, these jasmine flowering teas, I've been wanting to try them for so long. And every time I go to buy it, it's like, I ask myself, do I really need this? I need to stop. I need to stop like questioning myself about those sort of things. You know? Love blooming teas. 
I've loved them for years and they are amazing, Shasheen says. Goes with a special cup, blooming tea. Okay, so we're about halfway through at this point. Okay, so I'm going to imagine that this is actually the teacup. Yeah. Got to channel my inner Shira. I should have brought scissors. <laughs> oh, okay, because it's a clear teacup. Can I do it without scissors? That is the question. Let's see if I can find the seal. Let's do it that way. Up, uh, up. Uh. Can I find it? Yep. <laughs> Take that. Tape doesn't slow me down. <laughs> now don't break it, Christina. Just don't break it. Ooh. That is cool. So you pour your hot liquid in. You put the you put the flour down here in the center, right? You pour the hot liquid in, and then you can look through the side, and you can actually start to see it bloom. Now that is going to be cool. That is an amazing idea. I love that. Oh. Now that's cute. It's a little, I think this is the tea light. Is this the tea light holder, I believe? I'm asking you and I'm not looking at the magazine <laughs> just for the sake of time and it has a little angel wing on it super cute and it's frosted it's frosted so it'll give off that really really nice glow <laughs> multiple steep okay okay yeah, I'm going to have to spend some time to read the literature because while I'm not a tea newbie, I am probably am a tea newbie, actually. And this is one of the items that I was super excited for because I've wanted one of these forever. It's a little opalite. It's an angel aura quartz, little angel. Could you imagine having a tea party and just having like a bunch of these around? <laughs> That's my kind of tea party where it's just me and my spirit guides and my angels and uh, uh, my higher powers and my ancestors. <laughs> tea party, tea party with your ancestors, with your spirit guides. That's where I'm, that's what I'm about. You can use it as a, use it as you wish or put the animated candle inside of it. Got you. Awesome. But isn't that adorable? That is really crafted well, too. It's very well crafted. Very cute. Oh, no, we're not done yet. <laughs> Ooh, I've been wanting one of these. I've been wanting one of these. <laughs> now, this is adorable. Look at this, you guys. You put your tea in here. You close it and you put it in and it's a star. Now that's a great idea. That is a great idea. That is adorable. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has a little face on it too. So you just open, you just like, it's like almost like a safety pin. You just kind of scoop your tea up, close it, and dunk it in. That is convenient. Super convenient. That was our last box. Mario says and for ancestors got ghosts. <laughs> I'm so excited to see like what you guys are going to be coming out with. And I love that it's so, I mean, Christmas is over, but still you did a really good job of giving us like Christmassy Yule kind of gifts. Ooh, these are honey sticks, flavored honey sticks. 
Ooh. Um, let's see. It says it's grade A honey. And it's got like the nutritional information on the back. Um, are these okay? So Sashin says, I have one shaped like a ball, and that one is a butterfly. Oh, that's so cute. It looks, it does, it does. Victoria says, it looks like a magic wand. It really does look like a magic wand. It's like boopity boppity boop. But with your teeth. <laughs> okay, so a honey flight sounds like heaven. So let's talk about the honey sticks. Honey flight. Okay, so talk to me about these, Mario. So it looks like we have. Uh, a nice golden honey. It looks like we have a very nice dark brown honey. And it looks like we have like almost like maybe a rose colored honey. Must look up in the magazine to see the flavors you got. Okay. He's like, I don't know what you got. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just fine. <laughs> okay, so. We got the star diffuser. We got the angel, opalite angel and candle. We got the teas. Okay, the honeys, which flight did you get? We actually have five available, but only four are listed. If you get flight E, well, okay, we don't need to know that. What we need to know is that I got flight B. These are flavored honeys. They are great on toast or to treat just plain, to treat a headache. Okay, so the, the digital magazine will have that information. So that's what I'm going to have to look up later. And I'll let you guys know what I got if you are really interested. Okay, so we also got the Lemon Star. Oh, sugar cubes. Oh, now those are adorable. Look at these little sugar cubes. And they're, they're star themed. So you just drop one of these in. It says, our lemony sugar cubes tingle your taste buds and they are so good you can eat them like candy. Our sugar cube stars are accented with opal and metallic sugars that can leave edible little stars floating in your black tea or coffee if you look carefully. That is cool. That is neat. Little sugar cubes. And they're lemony. They're lemon flavored. Okay, so we are on the last two items here. And then I'll ask our third question. Ooh. Okay, so these are the pieces that I got. And now I have to see what it is. <laughs> That's part of the fun, I think. I don't see what this is. Stars, not reindeer. Oh, okay, okay, you guys. I see what this is. I see what this is. You know what? Um, Oh, I'm missing a piece. I'm missing a piece. That's what I'm missing. Okay. So that I've never seen anything like this. This is new to me. This is a completely new piece of technology I've never seen before in my life. Okay. So guys, you have the candle holder, which is the bottom part right here. You have the little stick part. Okay. And then you have the um, 
what are they called? You put them in the baby's crib. I'm not sure. The mobile. You have the mobile. And then you have the little stars that hang from it. Okay. So what I am gathering from this is that you put the candle in here and you light it. And when you light it, the heat that will like heat up the air. And what I get from this is that it'll start spinning it like a mobile. That is so cool. I have never seen this before in my entire life. Janet says those whirling things are super cool. We had when I was a kid. Oh, I've seen those. That's so cool. Oh, it's a mobile. We have a similar with angels that fly around when you light the candle underneath it. Where have I been? I've never, me, me neither, Brittany. I've never heard of these before. That is the coolest thing. That is neat. I've never seen that before ever in my entire life. Okay, I'm going to put this back really quickly in its little container because these parts are delicate and I don't want them to bend or break. So let's put these back. I don't know where this has been all my life. I know I definitely needed one of these. I'm glad I have one now. That is really, really cool. Oh, your kid had one. Okay. Mario says, exactly. It's good for meditation. That makes a lot of sense. So, like, you light your candle, you have your tea, and you just kind of stare into this thing, this mobile, and it's almost kind of probably like a mandala-ish kind of meditation. It just kind of helps you you know, clear your thoughts. Is that kind of how that works? That's a really cool idea. I don't, you, you are so knowledgeable about tea. Tea is like your thing because, you know, I could have gotten a box with just a bunch of tea in it. And honestly, that would have been okay. But it's the, this is really cool. You guys just like the pure thought that goes into these gifts. It's just incredible. It's a whole new layer of experiencing tea for me. And I also have this box, this black box, okay, which is not really a box. It's like a, um, oh, I was not expecting that. So it's like a carrying case. Look, you guys, it's a tea set. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, my gosh, you guys, look at these little teacups. That is cute. There's two of them that it comes with. I'm going to try to get this out of here with, without breaking anything. Don't break anything, Christina. I break so many things, you guys. I am, I've been a klutz all my life. Oh, wow. That is adorable. That is adorable. Oh, my gosh. It's got tape on it. Here, let me remove the tape. Without breaking anything. I get squirrely around breakable things because... <laughs> I'm just so clumsy. I'm a, I'm a clumsy unicorn, you guys. I look good, but... <laughs> You guys know what I'm saying. Oh, wow. I love the ha the handles are really cool. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's got these handles around it. And it's got like, um, it's almost kind of like this uh, fabric kind of woven around it. And then on the side here, it has a string that ties onto the top. How many of you always lose the tops to everything? <laughs> That's me. So I appreciate the fact that this is on there and I'm just kind of blown away at the design. The design is really spectacular and it's got like little spouts. So you just, I guess you just kind of hold it. I would assume I'm not a geisha. <laughs> I don't know the proper tea protocol, but I would assume that you kind of, you know, hold it by the handles when it's, so it's not too hot. I would assume that you put your finger down on the top and you pour it in like that, you know, some something like that, that kind of act, action. I'm not really entirely sure because I, I don't really know what the etiquette is, but 
Uh, no, this, this one's $80 per quarter. This box is the big box, but there's three different size boxes, Caitlin. Got wings like an angel. That's, that's what I was kind of thinking. It does have wings on it. That's really cool. These are adorable. Those whirling, Janice says those whirling things are what chime candles are meant for originally. Old-fashioned German-European Christmas decorations. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. I had no idea. Susan says, oh, wow, that is super cute. It is. Isn't that just adorable? This is the $79.99 set. Yes. Is this is the $79.99 set. There's a sampler plus option that includes the teaser for 20, the tea set for 29. Yeah, you guys will have to go on the website and look and ask Mario if you have questions. Okay, that's what he's here for. Like mittens tied to your coat, Victoria. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I agree, I agree. Jennifer says it really, it's really gorgeous. I was completely overwhelmed with gratitude when I got mine, so I haven't used it yet, but I will definitely be diving in deeper soon. Awesome. We should do a, we should do a make your business tea, tea party. Instruction in the magazine, but you got it. Yeah, that is gorgeous. That is beautiful. And I would assume that this is not dishwasher safe. <laughs> I would assume this is hand wash only. <laughs> but yeah, oh my goodness, you guys. And that is it, y'all. I say that is it, but how long have we been doing this now? An hour? <laughs> so the, the last question that I have for you guys for a chance to win the mid-size box is I want to know what your favorite item in the whole entire box was. My favorite two, I'm going to go with two items that I found. All of it was fantastic. But if I had all of these items on a table and Mario was like, you can only take two with you. And then I would be like, First of all, I'd be like, oh my gosh, how do I choose? But then second of all, I would probably be like, okay, my two favorite things. The magic wand. I mean, that's gotta be that's gotta be one of them for sure, right? Because I just love I just love the design of that. I think it's adorable. I think it's magical. And although, you know, it's a lower one of the lower cost items in the box, but I just really fell in love with this particular item. And then I think I love the teas. The teas are good, and I can't wait to try them. But I think my second would probably be, be the little edibles that come with it because I'm a big foodie, and I like the accessories that kind of go along with it. I'm really excited to try the um, sugar cubes, and I'm really excited to try the, the honey because that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm probably going to go straight for that deep red honey first because that looks the most interesting. And then I'll probably go for the silver sugar cube star. Caitlin says, I got a new set for Christmas and still haven't had a tea party. We need to have a tea party. <laughs> Love the party idea, so down. Perfect timing, now I can go do my live in my group. There you go, there you go. Sashin says, I moved my live stream to see it all. Yeah, I'm just kidding about the dishwasher. I'm just, it's a, it's a dumb blonde joke. I'm not serious about it. We have goals of having a tea party box option. Yeah, and um, okay, so I want to talk to you guys um, very briefly. So again, to recap, the three questions are, what is your favorite tea? What do you think this, if you were to win a box, what do you think it would al allow you to accomplish? What do you, what sort of reprieve would it allow you to have in your life? How would it benefit you? And then the third question is, what was your one favorite item, one or two favorite items from this box? And hold to your answers. Don't post them yet because I'm going to post a post in the group and then I want you to post there so I can keep track of everybody's comments and then I'm going to announce the winner next Friday. You will win a um, mid-side box. But everybody wins because everybody gets a 20% off coupon for um, the mid-size or the big-size box. So, you know, everybody wins in that regard. But something I also wanted to talk about, too, is Mario um, is also, he also talked to me about, he's starting to set up, like, courses. He's starting to set up, like, a membership site kind of in the background that, that kind of supports this box that's going to have videos, video trainings. Um, he also has a private group 
where if you buy the box, you can also join the exclusive group and talk to other people about what you got in the box, talk to other people about tea. And of course, Mario's in there to, you know, answer any questions that you might have and also talk about, you know, like if you wanted to come to him for a reading or you wanted to do like maybe a tea consultation with him or something like that, you could definitely get in touch with him and uh, join his group when you get your box. And I think it's just a wonderful gift box, especially, you know, if, if you have someone in your life that loves tea, this would be an awesome gift, in my opinion, to give them because it just has a lot of really unique curated things in here that I've literally never seen before <laughs> in my life. So I was blown away by, you know, all of the really interesting things in here. Yeah, Adrian says, my favorite is the tea cloth and the tea wand. So you really, you like the tea cloth. Mario says, I ate a lot of the broken cubes. Can't do sugar, but I didn't care. <laughs> I go for the tea set and the coin press. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that, too. It's really hard to choose favorites because, no, it's too hard to choose favorites. And now I have all these goodies. And now I get to go play with them. <laughs> Anya says, my favorite tea is the one that I used to make by mixing a few, but nettle and peppermint are my favorite. I drink a lot of, of nettle myself. Hi, Gemma. Jennifer says, I love the mobile, the tea said, Mopalite Angel, and Star Diffuser. I cannot just choose two. I know it's really hard, right? Mario says, additionally, content freebies and exclusive giveaways. Yeah, so make sure you guys connect with Mario. Even if you're not interested in buying a box right now, still connect with him. Send him a friend request, like his business page, because he does giveaways all the time, and then you guys can kind of see what he's up to, maybe even see sneak peeks of upcoming boxes and, um, you know, any deals or discounts or anything that he has running. But if you guys um, don't have any more questions or comments, then that's probably the end of our live stream for today. And don't forget that if you go to his website is tarotnt.com, T-A-R-O-N, the letter N. T T E A dot com. And if you use code angel 20, all uppercase angel um, numerical 20, then you can get 20% off of your first box. If you do a mid size to a large, and then I will get with you guys on Friday to let you know who won the mid size box. So look for that post. I'm going to post it right after I'm done here today. And I'm going to put it in the pin section of the um, Facebook group. And I want you to answer those three questions and I'll be picking one person to win a mid-sized box. Yeah, you guys are welcome. I love supporting our members. That's, you know, that's number one for me. And not only is it a good box, but it's from someone that's also in the group and that we have a connection with. And so it just makes it much more magical. All right, Sashin, have a good Friday. Happy Venus Day. All right, guys, I will see you guys in the group. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And I just hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. And now I'm going to go play with all my tea toys. <laughs> Bye. See you next video.